Hey you guys, this is uh, Julie, the Radiant Reseller. I was going to say Julie P. Yogi. That was my old name. I am a yoga teacher. Um, a little bit about me. I haven't really talked about myself a lot on here, but I am a 42-year-old mother of three boys who are 18, 22, and 8 months. I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world, though. Um, and <laughs> my husband's walking down the stairs. Hi. <laughs> Um, the, okay, so I was going to talk to today, sorry, that <laughs> threw me off. Today I was going to talk to you the differences between Eugene Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. Um, those are the only, um, selling other than Facebook Marketplace, but that's probably self-explanatory. I think most people know how to use that. So I use all three and I love Poshmark the best. Poshmark is maybe the most amount of money. Um, Mercari I used for in the beginning, it was just for breast pump parts. Like I had different flanges that went with all flanges <laughs> that went with all my um, breast pump parts because I had all these different sizes and they're really expensive. They're like twelve dollars for one set, and I had like ten sets of them or something. I'm still trying to sell them if you need any booby parts. Um, but I was listing all of the stuff that was not clothes on Mercari, so like baby toys, any kind of cloth diapers, baby paraphernalia, which you can sell a lot of that. You can't sell the toys, but you can sell a lot of the other stuff on Poshmark. But all, all the stuff that was not fashion related, I sold on Mercari or am selling on Mercari. Um, Mercari, I'm also selling a lot of stuff that I got at Goodwill or um, garage sales and stuff like footballs, um, beanie babies, or not beanie babies, what are they called? Field of bears. Um, and I've cross posted stuff. I've listed on both some of the same stuff, but I feel like, okay, so Mercari's app is not as user, the app is user friendly, but not to search for stuff. Like your own closet, you have to sit, like on Poshmark, you can, you know, hit men's, women's, plus size or whatever, and it separates your stuff out. On Mercari, it doesn't do that. It does on the website, on the computer, but it does not do it on the app. So if you're trying to find something really quick in your listing on Mercari, you literally have to scroll through all of the listings. So that has scared me to list a bunch of stuff on Mercari because I don't always have access to my computer at home and it's also slow as molasses. So, and it's old and we don't have the money to buy a new one right now. Um, and the only thing I use my computer for is to share my closet and to print out my labels. So. Um, I'm one of the rare few, I think, that list from my phone. Everyone else seems to list to their from their computer, but my computer's just so slow, it's not worth it to me. So, um, and Mercari, every time you list something, Mercari tries to get you to encourage to um, offer free shipping. And then it'll tell you how much you'll make if you offer the free shipping. And I'm just not a big fan of, like, I feel like people, like on Poshmark, the buyer pays shipping unless you offer it. And I, it just frustrates me that I'm not making that much money on Mercari. And rarely, I mean, I guess a lot of times when I do offer free shipping, I do get it sold. But it has to be, you know, for something that you're selling for over $20 or you're not going to make any money. Um, uh, eBay. I know there's people that love eBay. There's Rally Roots. I watch their videos and they sell strictly on eBay. So does... Um, at Hustle at Home Mom, I think is her name. I've been watching her. She only sells on eBay as well. I don't, I haven't quite figured out how to not get the fees on eBay, but know this, they will charge you fees. So I just, I've gotten two invoices. I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I was having to pay for this. I invoice for like $11, which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot. But when you don't have a lot of money coming in, it's annoying. So choose when you're listing something on eBay that you will list it on your own or they will relist it for you and charge you every time they do. It comes out of like your monthly earnings, I guess. I don't know, but just know that going in because I didn't know that and it sucks. Um, Mercari is weird when you sell something and then the buyer gets it. They send you a notification saying the buyer has received it and then you they rate you and then you rate them and then you get your money, which Poshmark doesn't do that. Poshmark um, releases the money after three days of them receiving it 
and then they can rate you anytime during that. Um, but if they rate you immediately, then you get the money right then. So it's kind of awesome. So sometimes in the thank you cards, I'll put please rate and accept ASAP because that helps people to know to accept it. Um, there's a few things I like on Mercari as opposed to, oh, in Mercari, Mercari, in case you don't know what I'm saying, M-E-R-C-A-R-I, and I'll have the link in the description. You can click on my link and get $10 if you sign up um, underneath me. $10 to spend. Um, so Mercari, um, what are, oh, their app you can edit in the app, which you can't do on Poshmark. Poshmark you can only size, which on Mercari you can turn the picture around and like lighten it, I think, and stuff like that, which you cannot do on Poshmark. Um, and Poshmark, or Mercari lets you promote the item, and I'm pretty sure when you promote it, it takes like a dollar per promotion out of your earnings so you don't have to pay for it right then it's if you if the item sells so I've done that a couple times and didn't really find it to be very lucrative so I don't really do that I just lower the price and I'm not sure if they get a notification but I know that I've got notifications on Mercari before that says the price has been lowered so on Poshmark it makes it clear when you lower a price um, it'll say congrats we're sending this notification to all of the people um, in the last, I think it's 60 or 90 days, 90 days, um, who haven't received this notice yet. So if you've already, if there's like the first, okay, say you have an item that 40 people have liked, which is really high, by the way, that means you've had it listed for a really long time or it's a really high selling brand. Um, but say you have something listed for $40 and the, in the first 20 people that liked it, you offered it 30% off and free shipping. So the 20 second person that has liked it if you offer that or say two more people have liked it and if you send that an offer again it's going to say we sent this to two likers and at first that threw me off I couldn't figure out well if I had 22 people that liked it why is it only sending it to two people because they're only sending it to the two people that have not received that like yet that offer yet so that's a little confusing it can be in the beginning um and eBay it's hard to like shop like I feel like eBay is something that you go on specifically to look for a certain brand that you like and you shop for like it's I don't see people just shopping other people's closets like bundling things together like you do on Poshmark so I don't know it's weird and I don't I don't think Mercari doesn't have a bundling type of thing it's weird I just haven't been on Mercari that long to know but I definitely prefer Poshmark even though they take a but ton of money. Um, like I sold a pair of pants today for five dollars, and they took two dollars. That's crazy. No, I tell you. Um, but whatever, it's five dollars. I also sold a pair of boots. I'm super excited about. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> this is actually my last first full price. Um, when I say full price, that means I did not buy it at the outlet, and I did not buy it um, on the half-off day at Goodwill. And these are a pair of chunky boots. They're actually really dirty, but I cleaned them for the video, which is or when I posted them. But it like dried and didn't really clean it that well. Might have to clean those before I send them. But these are a cute pair of leather boots, and the brand is called BP, and I can't remember what that stands for. But it's a, a Nordstrom brand. So cute little chunky heel. I bought these for six dollars. I'm pretty sure they were five ninety nine at Goodwill. We sold them for twenty eight, so not bad. Um, but eBay is also good for I like eBay for collectors items. I have some Pyrex, um, vintage Pyrex. Huge a lot of a lot of my mother in law and my husband's stepmom was also a collector of Pyrex. So there's a lot of people that like old fashioned Pyrex, the old stuff. Um, but I've sold dishes on Pyre or on eBay. I've sold footballs, what else? Just random stuff, toys, all kinds of stuff. But I prefer Poshmark the most just because it's fun and it's like Instagram and it's easy, very user friendly to me compared to the other two. Um, but if you guys have any questions or comments, you can post here or on my Instagram or 
um, messaging me on any of one of those. But I am going to go finish sharing my closet. And I hope you all have a good day. Hit the little bell button and I'll subscribe. And you'll get notifications every time I make a new video. Happy reselling. Bye.